Oh, hello everyone. I I so it's the awesome creationist here. Okay, I have several questions for you, and please answer these questions. Okay, have you ever lied before? Have you ever stolen anything irrespective of its value? Have you ever blasphemed God's name before? Jesus said, whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her in his heart. Have you ever looked with lust? If you have answered, oh, have you ever hated anyone? Oh, and the Bible says, he who hates his brother is a murderer. Okay, if you have answered yes to all of these questions, then by your own admission, um, well, you have admitted to lying, stealing, lust, blaspheming, adultery, and murder. Oh, since according to the Bible, hatred is murder. Since the Bible says he who hates his brother is a murderer. Okay, anyways, you have to face God on Judgment Day. Okay, so if you die in your sins, then you will end up in hell where there is weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Oh, oh and so. If you repent of your sins and put your trust in Jesus Christ, then you will become saved and you will get everlasting life in heaven. Oh, and Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. So, if you repent of your sins and put your trust in Jesus Christ, then you will become saved and you will get everlasting life in heaven. Oh, and so the Bible says today is the day of your salvation, since tomorrow is never guaranteed. I, I, now let's get started with the video. Oh, and please think about this. Well, hello everyone. Uh, okay, so today's video is going to be 11 steps to overcome the fear of man. So in, in this video... I, I will be showing you how to overcome the fear of man. I mean, um, there are several Christians out there who want to evangelize to other people. And I know that some of them struggle with the fear of man. So, if you are a Christian who struggles with the fear of man, then I will show you how to overcome the fear of man in this video. Okay, so let's get started on to step one. Okay, so step one. Pray to God to overcome the fear of man. Prayer is powerful, and when you pray to God to overcome the fear of man, then God will help you overcome the fear of man. Also, look up to Jesus Christ to overcome the fear of man. And, and now for step two. I look for encouragement to evangelize to other people. By seeking encouragement, um, that fear of man that you probably have will start to fade away. Then, when you overcome the fear of man, you will finally have the courage to evangelize to other people. Step 3. Um, look for examples of Christians who did not fear man. If you look for these type of examples, then this can give you some inspiration to get rid of the fear of man. Step 4. Practice evangelizing toward someone or practice handing out a gospel tract. If you practice doing these, then you will eventually overcome the fear of man, since you won't really feel so afraid to do this. Step 5. Look for Bible verses that will help you overcome the fear of man. If you do this, then this will give you courage to evangelize to other people or hand out gospel tracts without being scared. Um, and now for step 6. Remember that all things are possible through Jesus Christ. If you also look to this true fact to overcome the fear of man, 
then this can give you the inspiration to begin evangelizing to other people or handing out gospel tracts to other people. Uh, and, and now for step 7. Do not be afraid of persecution. It is normal to be persecuted sometimes. If you get persecuted when evangelizing to someone or handing out a gospel tract to someone, then do not let that discourage you from evangelizing to other people or handing out gospel tracts to other people. Remember that all things are possible through Jesus Christ. Oh, and the Bible says that people who are persecuted because of righteousness are blessed. And now for step 8. Do not let anyone stop you from evangelizing to other people or handing out gospel tracts to other people. If you want to evangelize to other people or hand out gospel tracts to other people, then it's a very good idea to do so, because this can possibly lead people to Jesus Christ. Step 9. Keep in mind that you are blessed if you are persecuted because of righteousness. If you keep it, or if you keep this in mind, then this will definitely help you overcome the fear of man and be successful in your evangelism. Step 10. Remember that the things that man can do to you is only temporary. If people get offended at the things of God, then do not let that discourage you. Still keep in mind that you are blessed if you are persecuted because of righteousness. And last but not least, step 11. Meditate on Bible verses that can help you overcome the fear of man. If you memorize these verses, well, I mean, those verses, then this will really help you overcome the fear of man. And you will finally be encouraged to evangelize to other people or hand out gospel tracts to other people. If you want to evangelize to other people, then you should learn how to evangelize to other people. Okay, so that is um, the video. And that was 11 steps on how to overcome the fear of man. Oh, oh, please subscribe. And have a nice day. Goodbye.